I have the scholarship in Washington DC now, but actually I'm married to my country for many, many years since my father, I guess, uh, was born. Because uh, actually since I was 13 years old, when for the first time I was arrested for just uh, writing I love Belarus on the wall of the 13? construction. 13? 13. So is that a crime? Just, it was a lot of... Uh, yeah, it crime? was a crime, of course. Because Why? it's, it's ah. forbidden to love the country you mm. live in, you know, in, in this harsh it's environment. It's a forbidden like Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Kind of relationship. Yeah, yeah, but you you always you know have to choose what you sacrifice for, you know, and uh, always we like put priorities, you know, family, country, and unfortunately, when you fight for freedom in difficult societies like Belarus, you have to sacrifice by your personal life, by your family sometimes. So that's a problem. It's your morning. Yeah, today I did not sleep at all because of Syria. You know, usually you just. Uh, have you know urgent messages, notifications from BBC breaking and CNN breaking mm. everywhere, and you got message and you go to com computer and you have to put the news first. Usually, when something happens, you have, as a journalist, like 10-15 minutes, you know, to be better than competitors. So today I was working all the night with Syria, but sometimes speaking about personal stuff, yeah. Uh, sometimes I woke up and I uh, usually trying to find out, am I still in the army or not? Really? Uh, yeah, and that's, you know, you know these important um, life events, they change you totally. You just stop being a normal person mm -hmm. after, you know, this uh, hor 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 horrific, these difficult periods of life. So sometimes I waking up and I'm waiting for the comment of the officer, you know, stand up, get up, you know. So I found out that everything is okay and I continue sleeping, you know, and just <laughs> waiting for the normal alarm clock. When were you in the army? How many years ago was this? Uh, yeah, it was uh, six six years ago. Yeah, we were struggling fighting NATO every day. You know, NATO was going to attack us every day. Um, NATO didn't know this, of course, but we knew for sure. You know, we had in our sleeping unit there were 200 people, and all the walls covered with the photos of American warplanes. And we knew all the characteristics of these warplanes. We didn't have our own planes at all, yeah. But we actually were very good to know in knowing the army of the enemy. So for how long were you there? For one year or how? Fifteen months. Fifteen. Enough Fif for being traumatized till the end of your life, most probably. Uh, yeah, I'd like to add that making a revolution usually it's not uh, fancy stuff, and usually uh, parliament or presidential palace guards they do not share tea with you, but they. Uh, share their truncheons. Their sticks. Sticks, yeah. And they, you know, scare you with water cannons, with guns. I remember what happened in Maidan in Kiev. I've been there when the first guys were killed, you know, shot there. And um, I would say usually uh, on the revolution, it sounds romantic afterwards, you know, to talk about, about you know, Kiev, about our protest in Minsk. But it scares you a lot. It changes you a lot, you know. It makes you a trauma for whole your life. And um, it's very difficult, you know, and I'm really amazed by people who survived this, you know, who saved the dignity in passing through the revolution. So uh, I'd like to say that uh, rebooting democracy is very difficult uh, stuff, especially in the regions where uh, democracy was destroyed for many years. And what's happening now in Hungary and Poland, this rising authoritarian, authoritarianisms, I think that's also the result of the lack of knowledge and of education as well, of thinking. You know, that democracy is also the stuff. It's like property which you can lose any time, any day. And when I was coming to Poland like 10 years ago and telling about our fight, about my times, many times in jail, about my military service, school people, pupils, they do not understand. There is no thinking like, oh, democracy, I like, you know, socialism, communism, it's so cool, you know, because of the thinking. And now, you know, we got Americans who did not, a lot of them did not value properly the freedom they have, fantastic freedom they have. And also many European countries, societies, which also had the lack of this importance of freedom. Only people like Ukrainians, like Belarusians, who suffer, who struggle, who lose their lives, and years spent in prison, they can understand, and I believe they can teach Europeans, 
you know, of rebooted much better than Europeans themselves, Western Europeans. I mean. Thank you very much for those words. That was a like, reality check for... Uh, yeah, actually... Uh, and polls as well. Polls, especially in this place, in Gdansk, you know, Solidarity Time, what they made this fantastic example, how you can struggle, how you can uh, win and achieve what you want, the freedom. You know, unfortunately, 30 years passed, you know, and uh, uh, through the start you know, of all these events here in Gdansk, and uh, people forgot. So we have just to bring knowledge, to take that experience, to build around this experience applications. You know, when I'm in jail, for example, the only thing I communicate with the outside world, you know what it is? No. Apple Watch. Because yeah. they confiscate your mobile phone, but you still have like mobile phone on 10 meters distance from you, and you can send messages. It's basically a pro tip for protesters right now. Yeah, and yeah, well, we, we already had a discussion after. Or well, for example, the signal button application. Yes, when you are arrested, you have a signal button, and you are sending the message to your father, to the media, and you are like safe. You know, everybody knows that you are taken to the jail, or you are live streaming Facebook. You know, that's fantastic. I ask all of you, live stream every time, everything you do, especially when you go to protest, because after you will be detained, if something happened bad, uh, this live stream will save on Facebook and thousands of people will know that you are there, that you are not disappeared just or kidnapped.